Good morning, good morning, good friends. Good morning, world. Greetings once again from El Bolson, Rio yes. Negro, Argentina. Uh -huh. Final moments here. Final moments and a little change of plans. Indeed. So originally we were meant to catch the bus from El Bolson to Comodoro yes. Rivadavia this afternoon. Yeah. But then we were invited to a barbecue and we couldn't say no to yeah. a barbecue. Our amazing, I should say, our very best friend yeah, here from Argentina. Point, yes. He's definitely our best friend in Argentina, Valentin oh. from El Bolson. He invited us to a family barbecue that his uh, mm. brother is is uh, throwing in Escal. Yes. And so instead of just hanging out, waiting for the bus all day, we have something interesting to do. Yeah. So we went to the bus station super early this morning. As yep. soon as they opened, they were able to change the destination on our tickets so that we're boarding in Escal yeah. instead of here. The reason being is that the bus actually goes to Escal. It goes through Escal. So yeah. we, it, it's it's going to work out perfectly. Marvelous. Instead of leaving at like five o'clock from here, we're yeah. going to be leaving at eight something from. 8.45. So yeah, it's going to be awesome. A day More of barbecue. Beautiful day today. Yes. Not a cloud in the sky. It's going to be warm. We're going to have some meat. We're going to have some Malbec. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a great, great day. And we're loading some spare tires yes. with our luggage. So let's get going. <laughs> let's get going. Off to a scale. Off to a scale. Time for a little breakfast on the road. We stopped at a bakery. We're getting pastries, of course. Facturas. It'll be good. It'll be good. somewhere in the outskirts of Trevelin, no, Trevelin, Trevelin. Yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful place, my gosh. It's all like farms and estancias out here. We're at the foot of the mountains. And we have beautiful dogs. We've met beautiful doggos. There's like three of this one. All identical. We're gonna have a nice day in the mountains, barbecue, gorgeous weather. Like the sun's out, but it's maybe like 20 degrees, yeah. light breeze. And you couldn't have a better day <gasps> for an asado. It's just honestly. paradise. Yeah. But we don't want to leave. Patagonia no. is so beautiful. This is well, one of the nicest places in Patagonia. Yeah. If you want to have a, a slice of tranquility, yes. here's where you come. And We're look at the dog. <laughs> it's so funny. It really likes me. More I than like you. you. It likes me more than you. I'm just kidding. So yeah, it's going to be awesome. Yes. Oh. Oh. My friend oh. Journey for the siesta. I hope so. Arturo, 
a dormir la siesta Arturo ¿Qué te parece? ¿Qué te parece Arturo? Hey guys, time for an update. So we're at the bus terminal. Yeah, kind of a, a bittersweet moment. We have some exciting adventures happening in the south of Patagonia, but it's also sad to say goodbye to our best friend here in Argentina. He was just an amazing host all nine days that he had us. Every single night there yep. was some kind of like social outing, so yep. that was really fun. And he also took us to a lot of places and it was nice kind of putting the camera down for a bit. Yes, and we met lots of new people yep. our age, which yeah. cool. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. It was uh, just a kind of a, a bit of a social break in this trip. And uh, yeah, now I'm feeling really energized to go down and, and see some new places. Ready to start filming again, ready to pick up the camera. Yeah, ready yes. to pick it up. And um, yeah, we've just got actually only 45 minutes to kill. Oh, our bus will be <laughs> here soon. So yeah. It's an overnight journey. Mm -hmm. So we're getting on at quarter to nine. Yeah. And I forget when we're arriving, to be honest. Isn't it nine in the morning? I feel like it's really early. Earlier than that? I don't remember anymore. I booked this uh, a while ago, oh guys. Gosh. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. Yeah. And uh, we'll have to update you on that. So yes. I have no idea. So we're excited for Comodoro Rivadavia. Yeah. I've got to say, when we've told people where we're going, they're like, what? You're going there? <laughs> There's nothing to see. But it's like, we're really pumped to actually spend a few days there and visiting maybe a non-touristic destination and seeing what we yeah, can get up it'll, to. Yeah, it'll be a bit of a challenge to see what we can do while we're there. Yes. And it's our first overnight bus trip in, in forever. And if I remember correctly, I think I booked the nice seats. I think I booked camera if it was available. Please. So it should be a comfy <laughs> Por ride. Por favor. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, once we get on the bus, we'll show you around. We'll talk about the price as well because I can't remember how much I paid. Yeah but it's on the ticket, so. Yeah, so the journey continues and we'll be sure to share our first impressions of the city when we arrive too. So we have arrived here in Comodoro Rivadavia. We're just having breakfast at our hotel. Yes. We're actually not able to check in till noon. Mm -hmm. um, what time is it at the moment? Seven in the morning. Five more hours. Oh, I'm still in partial zombie mode oh at the moment. Lord. Um, we both actually slept quite well. Yeah. The journey was comfortable. Um, whenever you can take Kama, highly recommend doing so. This each just reclined back further. Yes. Oh, and yeah, it's just it's fascinating that we've kind of traversed, we've crossed half of the half of the country. We've I traded know. in the uh, the mountains and the forests for uh, for coast. And as soon as we as soon as we like stepped off the bus, you had that 
the saltiness in the air. Oh yeah, that sea by the breeze. Ocean. Sea breeze. And it's not as cold as I thought it would be. It's actually a bit balmy. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm feeling the sun <laughs> actually right now, even at seven. It's shining through the window. But anyways, for the time being, enjoying a cup of coffee for breakfast. Alright guys, here we are, all checked into our room, finally, finally! It, is this our first hotel room in a very long time? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we've been using Airbnb and like renting apartments along the way basically. Because we're doing a shorter stay here and we wanted to be able to like drop off our bags early in the morning and yeah, we're just not staying as many nights. A hotel made sense. Yeah, we wanted a more central location mm -hmm. and we actually got this hotel on a deal. It's normally 50 bucks a I night. I like my deals. We paid 40 something. Well, look at that. Which is nice. And we're like right in the heart of the city. So this is perfect. We just had to wait to check in until yeah. 12, which was a really long time when you arrived. So, um, I realized we forgot to tell you guys the price of the bus tickets to mm -hmm. go from El Bolson or Esquel yeah. to Comodoro. So it was 1,830 pesos per person. Which Plus than $30. Right now. It's exactly oh, 30 bucks. Oh, it is $30. 30 buckaroos. Yeah, that's a great deal. I mean, basically, we didn't spend on accommodations last night. No, we slept on so the bus. We spent $60. Oh, and this is this is for Kama too, not semi Kama. Yes. So we had a nice comfortable bed. And um, yeah, I also slept in the hotel lobby for about mm -hmm. two hours. The one <laughs> thing so. that has changed that I have to mention is Kama used to be really fancy like you would get a hot meal you would get wine or whiskey yeah. you would get a blanket you'd get a pillow you'd get movies last night it was like a little tray with a little sandwich pizza a little pastry that's it and a cup of uh, sprite or coke and that's yeah it. That's yeah it. yeah it used to be a hot, like a hot pasta and then you'd have wine with it and then you'd have a whiskey as yeah. a as a <laughs> it's a knockout blow to go to bed. It was like that up until like three or four years ago when we traveled with your parents. They were getting fancy food. Fancy yep. food. So we're 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 old enough to be nostalgic about a, a yes. time. <laughs> back in the day. Back back in the day when when you would be fed fancy. Uh, but yeah, I, you know what I I have noticed though is prices have gotten cheaper. Yes. For buses. Yeah. Buses used to be considerably more expensive. I think they're trying to compete with the low-cost carriers, the airlines, because yeah. now you have so many cheap airlines where you can fly domestically across Argentina yeah. for like $15, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, anyways, that's going to be a wrap for us from here. Yeah, we should give you a hotel tour. No? Okay. We'll we'll show you our room. We'll show you our room and um, yeah, let's do that. Here we are. Time for the grand tour and don't blink because this place is pretty small. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, so you come into the door right yes. here. Oh, tell us about the funny incident we had with the door. Oh, that was hilarious. So they gave us room keys, you know, the kinds that you use, you scan to get the in. Magnetic ones. Magnetic ones. And we're like, we walked to the door and we're like, there's no magnetic strip anywhere. And we just saw, uh, you know, a standard door handle where you mm -hmm. can obviously slide a key into. But I was like actually trying to scan the key like around the door. Like, is yeah. there a secret magnetic strip is this, inside is, is the door? Is this advanced technology where you don't even need a scan pad anymore? But no, apparently they haven't upgraded these rooms to that system yet. Yeah. So, key it is. Tour. Okay, we have a desk, which you're yes. very happy about. Yeah, I'm probably going to take that over since I... Workstation. I love to work on the desk. And then over here, we have the bed. Yeah. Nice double, double size bed, maybe queen size. And guys, I think the most impressive thing are the views. The Check views, out the views. The views. So it's not beautiful. We don't have a view of the, of the coastline, but we do have a really nice view of the, the kind of the, the hills that are off in, in the distance here in the city. Yeah, there's a lookout up there. So I think there we'll is a lookout. make it up there. So we'll definitely go up there. Um, yeah, so far we've noticed a modern city, lots of skyscrapers. Mm -hmm. um, you could tell that the city has money. It is an yes. oil, yeah, 
it is predominantly an oil city. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we just have a over here some space to hang up our clothes, safety deposit box, very standard hotel things. And then we have a sink outside of the bathroom, a hair dryer, complimentary items. And if you come into here, I have to turn on the, turn on the light, flick, 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 flick. Standard Argentine toilet, toilet, bidet, and of course, this is a shower. This is a pretty spacious bathroom. It is, yeah. This this hotel will be comfortable. I mean, we're mostly going to be here sightseeing. We're not really here to do too much computer stuff, too much computer time on the desks. So, yeah, we're really looking forward to seeing what this city has to offer. And since um, since some of our friends told us it's, it's not a place that tourists come, I think it's going to be a fun challenge to see what we can do while we're here. Mm -hmm. So we hope you enjoyed this episode, and we will have uh, we'll have a few more from, from the city. What's the city's name? Comodoro Rivadavia. Well done. I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> it's nice to know. It's nice for you to know that I know where I am. He knows where he is. Yes. All right. Bye guys. That's all.